of these redstone tutorials and today we shall be making a spiral piston door. Now this was asked by a good friend of mine called Fortune Gaming who commented on my last redstone tutorial and asked for me to make this. So if you want to see what you your idea is being made then just comment on my video or send me an email or whatever and I'll, ju I'll just make it okay guys. Um, so before I start this video I'd just like to say two things. First thing, sorry about this video being put up late. Um, I was going to upload it the weekend, but the problem was um, I was very, very busy, and then I did actually record it yesterday on Monday, and um, when I was about to upload it, it I realised it was 40 to 50 minutes long, which is way, way too long for, um, for a tutorial, so um, today I'm, I'm making it shorter, and it shall be uploaded, <laughs> so that's why I'm trying to be fast. And the second thing is, um, happy pancake day to all you pancake lovers out there. I am one, I ate lots today, and I really enjoyed them, <laughs> so yeah, let's get right into the video. I hope this is what you um, wanted watching gaming, so let's go. So if you know what a spiral door is, piston door is, um, it opens in a spiral basically, and I've made a tunnel, which I've not seen on YouTube um, before, so this is my own design, so anyway, here we go. So stand the pressure plate, you walk through the tunnel, and there you go, you're free. Then to open it back up, click the call button, and it opens it back up, and you walk back through. Easy as that, and then to reset it, you just click on that. So, so one more time, we'll just, just walk through to the other end, I'll show you, you walk through, there you go. So, and then to go back, click call, and you walk back through. There we go. And just hit the reset button. So, there we go. So now that's done. So we'll just fly off here to have a look at the redstone. Like in the um, last video over there, uh, don't be like afraid or scared of the redstone. It looks complicated, but it really is not. It's just the same pattern, same over there, same pattern repeated over and over again, which means, yes, again, it is extendable. So you can make this as long as you want or as short as you want. I've made this eight here, but you can make it 20, 25, 30, four, two, seven, what, whatever you want to make it. Um, yeah, I made it into seven parts, as you see I missed out the orange part, so I had to put it on top there, <laughs> show you guys. Um, so let's get into making it. It's it's a very simple design, it may look complicated, but it's not. So let's see what we need to make it. So you need redstone, redstone repeaters, uh, redstone torches, um, a non-sticky piston, so just normal piston, oh, flying, um, a sticky piston, buttons, yeah, two buttons, a uh, block of your choice, and pressure plates. You can also have signs. I like to put signs, you know, just to put above my, above my buttons so I know what they mean. Um, last thing before we start, I know there's a lot to take in, but I just want to explain, because I'm going to use um, terminology of ticks, so if you don't know what uh, ticks mean, this is what it means. So, when I say put this repeater on one tick, that's what I mean. Two ticks, that's what I mean. Three ticks, that. Um, Start. So the more ticks there are, the more delay there is. So if I just show you now, it should go from left to right, and it does. There you go. So that's got less delay than that. That's why that one turns on first, basically. It's the way um, repeaters work. So for one tick, oh, for one tick, you just place it. So one. So when you place it, that counts as one tick. So for two, it'd be one, two. And then for three, it'd be one, two, three, and then for four, it'd be one, two, three, four. I may refer to this as full delay as well. So um, let's get right into it and start. So first thing you want to do is um, build a two by two um, block, like platform. I think it's five blocks of floor, one, two, three, four, five, yes. Five blocks off floor and um, put two, your two pressure plates on that, them two blocks there. Then come underneath and just mirror it like that. So just build a two by two underneath there. It's two blocks down and then cover it in redstone. Then you want to put a redstone torch on each side and then you want to come up to here, do like that, and then just build like a staircase up going free like that. You want to put torches along there and a redstone torch on top. Um, 
chosen block on top of there, and then torch on top of there, and then finally another block on top of there. Then you want to come to this side, and you want to do do the same. Come out, come up. I mean, come up to, and take away the block underneath. But instead of going up like a stair, what we're going to do is we're going to come out one like that, and then come up once like a stair. So whereas that will have two torches, this will have four. Uh, so we put dust there and torch on there, and because this side is four, we need to be, this is going to be a lot taller. So there's two torches, three torches, and four torches. There we go. Right, so you've built your purple circuit, so there's part one done. So now we're going to do the blue circuit, which makes everything work together, basically. So how you do this is you come to this torch here, you build out three. Now this is depends, this next bit depends on how big you want your tunnel to be. Now I made that one eight, but for time's sake I'm going to make this tunnel five along. So you can make this twenty, so if you want to make this twenty, if you want to make your tunnel twenty then you come out twenty here, but because I want to make it five, I'm going to come out five. So one, two, three, four, five, so you come out twenty there if you're making one that's twenty long, or eight if you're making one like that, or whatever, anyway. So it doesn't matter, same, same thing, like this, you do the exact same thing in each one, Just it's just this bit. So then you come out five in this, so one, two, three, four, five. And then what you want to do is you want to always put the repeater on the one that's lower down first. Put it on four ticks, so full delay, one, four, there we go. Miss one, one, two, three, four, miss one, one, two, three, four, like that. And then just fill in the gaps with dust. And then you want to do the same on this side. So where there's dust, you want to put a repeater. So on full delay, one, two, three, four, and then same here, one, two, three, four, and then just fill with redstone. There you go, that's the first part done. So for this next bit, um, we just want to come up here and do sort of the same thing, just come up there this time. So you want to come out one there and then up. Actually no, let's quickly check. <laughs> yeah, I was right, you go, you go up like um, this. Like that. I thought I was um, going wrong. So let's just set the time to um, zero while we're at it. And then you want to build this out five, like down here. So one, two, three, four, five. And then same with this, one underneath. Like one block down, two, three, four, five, and then it's the exact same idea. You just put dust along there, and then you want to put repeater on the low one first. Full delay, this one, full delay, and this one, full delay. There we go, and then fill that in with dust, and then you just want to put repeaters where the dust is on full delay, and then put dust in between. There you go. Now, don't worry, this circuit will be on. It's only this blue circuit here, only this one that will be off. So don't worry about that one being off. So you want to come around here, and we'll do this one next. So you want to come out one, and then it's like the purple ladder there. You want to come out one, then up, then up again. And then build out five, because that's how long it is. it is. So one, two, three, four, five. And then one, two, three, four, five. And then do just trail the redstone off of that. So, and then because this is the lower um, one of the two, then we put the repeater on here first. So full delay, miss one, full delay, miss one, full delay. And then just put dust in between like that. And then where there's dust there, you just put a repeater on full delay. And this one, full delay. And then fill it in with. Oh, make sure you don't do that, make sure you keep it on full delay. So there we go, we've got three of the four blue circuits done. I'm just going to do the last one now, which comes off here. So we just come out one. Now this one's like, um, I'll show you over here, oh. <laughs> this one's like how it is underneath, like that on purpose, so it comes out two then up one, so that's what we're going to do here. So 
we want to up, keep cutting out where flying anyway so we come out to then up from like that and then put dust all the way along and then we just build out five of these one two three four five and same with this one one two three four five now because this lower down one again this last one you have to do um, because it's lower down one, put repeater on here first and full delay, this one, full delay, this one, full delay. Now you put dust in between each one. And then you want to put um, repeater where all the dusts are, so full delay and full delay. Then you just fill in the dust, there we go. So there you go, you've done two parts already. So the next part is the green and pink circuit, which is basically the first part of um, wiring up to the pistons. Which is really simple, it's just these bits here. So before we get into that, we're just going to uh, make our frame around our door. So you just want to come to this block here, and come up four, cross three, or four all together and then just down, see, just like that, makes a little door frame, and then we come here, and just build a block out there, and a block out there, and then you want to just build up like that, and again there, and then I like to, this isn't necessary, but um, it looks nicer in my opinion, um, put, put that across like that, and there's your door frame. So now the next bit you want to do is you want to put your um, pistons in. So um, we'll just, now you want to put a block there and um, basically put a block on top of it. And where this square is, you just want to two by two square. You just want to fill it in like that. Put one further back. If that made any sense. <laughs> then come down two or three actually. Or you don't you don't even need to do that. And you you just want to basically put piston on there and now you put however long you wanted your tunnel so I wanted my five you put however many pistons so because I wanted a five long tunnel I put five pistons so one two three all oh, three four five like that so when I've just realized I've done this wrong <laughs> you want to put it one higher sorry I thought I was doing it wrong so oh I should have kept that there anyway um, so you want to put it on that layer, so not on that layer, sorry about that. Uh, so one, two, three, four, five, because that's how long my tunnel is, and it should all be in line with this blue circuit here. And then we can get on with wiring our green circuit. So our green circuit comes off here, like that, there, and up one like that, that is it. That's how easy it is. So then you just want to put dust on there, now you want to put a repeater on one tick, and a torch there which will power that on. Then for the next line, we can't put it next to it here because dust will connect to it and they'll go up at the same time basically. So what you have to do is you have to come down one below and just come up like that. So it's the exact same circuit, just one below. Now this is where your blue, oh one tick by the way. Um, this is where your blue tick, oh blue tick, so that blue circuit comes in. You wire it up for your blue circuit here. Just make sure you put a block on top of there. And you actually need to put a block on top of here as well for the next trail. And so then you just carry on the circuit for however long your um, tunnel is. So door, one tick, and dust. Now here, it's going to be different to the first one because the torch was there, but for this one now, you need to put a block up like that, and then you just put a block there, and just put dust across it, and that's how easy it is. It's really easy, this circuit. Um, and then, oh, what am I doing? I just want to wire this one along here, and then it goes up one at the end, torch, and repeater there one tick, wire it up, and two blocks above there. And then, finally, you want to just 
do your last bit of circuit. Yours might end on a lower one, depending on if it's an even or odd number. Because mine's an, an odd number, I'm ending on a higher one, like here. But if it's an even number like over there, which I shall show as soon as I've done this. Oh, I haven't done it yet. <laughs> yeah, make sure you do put your block there, otherwise it won't work. Yeah, this is an even circuit, so this one's ended on ended on a lower uh, one like that. So it d doesn't matter, it works exactly the same. So don't be panicking if yours looks slightly different. So mine ends on a higher one, that's all you need to know. And yours might end on a lower one. All the same, doesn't matter. And you just want to build block across there, and you've done your green circuit. So then now we want to build our pink circuit. So for our pink circuit, we just want to come up here, build one block up there, and up. So there we go. And, um, oh, before we do that, we haven't got any pistons yet. Might help. Um, so what we want to do is, our piston is going to be here, so there. So we want to put our piston there, and remember, because our tunnel is 5 along, yours can be whatever, how many pistons your tunnel is. So mine's 5, so 5. So it should be all in line here, and then just put blocks across there, and here you go, this is um, the next one. So you want to put dust here, which is powered by the torch that's we've just blocked up, which is here, yeah. Now this is where I was talking about the ticks thing, tick, or the tick idea, right. So when you power on and off a torch, that's one tick, so just remember that. So. That's one tick, two ticks, and that's three ticks. So we want this to be one more tick to get the spiral effect. So there's one tick, then two ticks. So then we want three, four ticks. This needs to be on two ticks, this. So one, two. So just, if you didn't understand any of that, just understand that that needs to be on two ticks. Okay, if you didn't understand it, great. You're learning a bit of redstone. Then for the next line, you just want to put two blocks on there and up there, it's really easy, and then dust all the way along, room to put a block above there, and um, just put that on two ticks, so one, two, and then it's just the same all the way along, apart from the first bit here, because it's different to the first one, remember, so with this one you need to come up, oh, actually no, it's alright, yeah you don't need to put a block there. I was, sorry, I was thinking in my head about putting a block there, but you can't because it blocks up that. Anyway, yeah, so this one, just you do that stair-like effect, up, and put two ticks, one, two, and then dust all the way along there. Next up, so, yeah, you just, keep, you just keep doing the same design, and it is really simple, and you can see how easy it is to um, extend, and with two ticks. Um, so I would definitely recommend using this design, um, I, I did come up with it, I don't know if anyone else has made it before, but this is what I came up with anyway, so two ticks, and dust, and block there, block there, so put dust all the way along that, and there you go, you've made your pink circuit, so now we have to make our red and orange. <laughs> Yeah, orange is meant to be there, but I missed it off, so we go red and orange. So last two parts, so not last two parts, last, the part before the last part thing, you and Bobby, something or another, just going to set the time. Oh, and I may want to put the value in there. Oh, gosh. Anyway, so the next circuit we're going to do is the red circuit. Before we start the red circuit, you might want to check that the actual you know, system works. Uh, I'm just going to put blocks across here so I can stand before I walk on it. Because um, if it do not work at this point, you can go back, pause my video and figure out where you've gone wrong. So if I stand on here now, this should go down like that. So it should go bottom, top, bottom, top, bottom, top, bottom, top. So there we go, bottom, top, bottom, top. And yeah, I can't go that fast. <laughs> 
So there you go, it does it anyway. So mine's working, so you, you can carry on now. So with this circuit, you want to first get your piston ready, and the piston's going to be at the top. So that's where the piston's going to be, so we just want to put a block there and the piston there. Now my tunnel's 5 long, like I've been saying. Yours could be 10 or whatever, so you put 10 pistons, but mine's 5. So 1, 2, 3, four, three four, five. there we go. And just the old, I was about to say, just put the block along like that. Yeah, there we go. I thought the blocks were already done there a second. <laughs> right, um, so what you do now is very, very simple. Just want to build a block off here, block up like that, and then well, you just put a block up there, block up, and block there. And then basically just come off this here like that. Now, to work out how many ticks we need this one to be, the first one was three ticks down there, this one was four ticks, so we want this to be five ticks. Um, so it goes up, it goes one tick, two ticks, three ticks, four ticks. So for five ticks, we just need to add one more tick, which is just that. So if you didn't understand that again, all you need to know is that's on one tick, basically. Yeah, so there we go. And then for the next uh, red circuit, you just literally come down like that. Actually, I don't. Do you need to do that? Yeah, you do. Sorry about that. Uh, come under like that, sorry. There we go. And then you just want to build along like that. Uh, one tick, remember? Dust all the way along. And then two blocks on here. And then it's just the same circuit. Now this is the only circuit which is exactly the... Right, basically, the pink circuit the first one's different to all the other top pink circuits, and it's same with the green. The first green circuit's different to um, all the other top green circuits, and um, it's the only one that actually does this. Does uh, I mean this is the only one that has the same top circuit for the whole thing? So yeah, just thought I'd let you know. <laughs> you didn't know that, which you probably didn't, because you've never seen this before. Um, so yeah, so one tick delay and dust all the way long and it would help if I'd put a block on here like that. And then it would go up to the redstone up here and then come down here, and then block there, block underneath, and then you'd go block, block on and block across like that. And then um, it's just literally a matter of wiring it all the way to the piston. So one tick, remember, and dust all the way along. Two blocks on top, and there you go. So last bit. Just want to put a block up here. Went silent for a second then. Oh, yeah, don't do that. <laughs> it's not right. And block there, so then wire it up dust all the way along and then one tick delay piston on there well, not piston repeater there so now we just have to do our one before the last circuit it's the last wiring circuit to the pistons basically and th this piston well these pistons will be not there they'll be there so what you want to do is put a block there and just put a sticky piston up, oh, not facing down, facing this way, yep. So I want five, because there's five, it's five long in this tunnel, so one, two. Oh, don't worry about that. Um, I'm, I'm not going to explain why it does that, but it's basically something to do with redstone. <laughs> That's all you guys need to know. So underneath each one of these, it will push out. So one, two, three, four, five, there we go. Yeah, so don't worry, in the end it will work out, so don't worry that they are powered on and the others aren't. So then what you want to do is get your orange circuit here, and you, you just want to build up one, like that, and come along to there. So, if we remember rightly, the first circuit was three, the second one was uh, four, that one was five, so this one needs to be six, so we'll work out how we're going to do. 
do it so it has one tick, two tick, and so this one needs to have three ticks, four ticks, five ticks, six ticks. So basically you've got to add four ticks more, which is full delay. So one, two, three, four. So we're going to put full delay on these ones here. So then for the next one, just come along like that, just a straight line. Four ticks there, so full delay. And then dust along and block on top. Then with this one, two blocks up and come along. And then basically you just want to put it over like that. Uh, you want to make sure you put a block on. Um, oh, make sure you put a block on top of here, otherwise um, the circuits will join up. So dust, 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 and then four tick delay repeater so full delay all the way along and a full delay repeater there so nearly done now and just come up one there all the way along full delay and repeaters, not repeaters, redstone and dust, and then just want to put a block there. So there you go, it should now all work, just you won't really have anything to walk on or go to your end on, so I'll show you. So, I'll actually just stand there and watch it. So it does all work, there you go. So now to make the platform so it's actually a tunnel, you want to just see where next to the piston extends, there's a space for a block, basically you just build the block across there, so there's one there, you have one on this one's here, oh, down there, there, uh, the orange one's in an awkward place, so come on, be careful with that one, there we go, reach it on this, but otherwise you'd have to go, you might, yeah, You'd have to come up here and look through the piston like that and do it. Oh, not there though. There. So that might probably be the best way to do it. Um, if it's a really long tunnel and you can't reach it. Um, and this one, you just put it up. So there we go. Now, before we um, take a look at the tunnel, we just want to build our platform at this end. So you just build the exact same platform. So we've got a 2x2 two two square. And then we want to build our frame, which we built before. that and then block there block there block here and then up, up then block here then up and go across like so oh not there and there and go and like I, I like to build my platform out of it so I can walk so now if we go and take a look at it we can actually, the tunnel is working. We can just walk along it and go to the other end and it shuts behind us. So that's great and all, but we can't actually get back. So that is what the brown circuit is for. So you wanna get, um, you know, the block of your choice. I'm gonna get my brown wall to show you. And you want to come to this end and you want to place a button there. Now, underneath this, obviously the wall would be extended upwards like this, so there'd be another layer, so I'll just do that. It's this way, you could basically take this wall all the way around the you know, design and all the redstone basically. You want to come underneath the wall, yeah, and where underneath the button is, where it is here, which is in line with the green one if you're unsure, you just mine the block there. Then you want to come down to like that. And then you want to put a redstone, um, I've got to say repeater, but dust you want to put on there. And then mine the block next to it here. You want to come underneath and stare it down one and put dust. Then you come around here like that, out two. Then along like that to here. And then you want to bring it in there. And then that is where you put your, uh, what do you call it? Um, 
to your flip flop which is what we made in the last video and to check that you've got it in the right space if you're unsure you should be above these two blocks here so yeah so what you want to do now is just line that redstone all the way along i'm just gonna set the time to day uh, bring the redstone all the way along like that there we go and now uh, how you make a t flip flop if you can't remember put a torch on each end a piston here i think here anyway just quickly check no not there here sorry then that extends you want to put the block that you're using there and then block there and the piston there now um, you want to put your torch here and then put block here and basically run this block all the way along to here where you want to just bring it up to like that so get rid of them. now if you don't want to just trail it with redstone all the way along because um, it joins up here if you don't know redstone like goes through a piston so you want to just put a repeater there and um, yeah that's half of it done so you'll be able to get back but you won't be able to re reset it so to be able to reset it you need to add a button on this side and it's the exact same design sort of not really now i'm thinking about it so i'll just extend the wall a bit so yeah this wall can just go all the way around all your redstone to hide it so yeah you want to come underneath and it's in line with the pistons and it's the first like floor wall block basically there next to the frame and you want to just get rid of that block and um, come down to again so there's two Careful circuits in the way, just get rid of that. Then you want to just trail this redstone to here, bring it down one. So, fill that with redstone from there. Yeah, bring it down one and then trail it all the way along to your T flip flop. Now, make sure when you get to here, you don't go like this. Like this. Ooh. You don't trail it like that because that will not work if you do it like that. So you have to make it go like this. Just get rid of that. Like that. So you're just going to make it basically have three blocks coming out here. So make it go three blocks there and then basically you just wire that up to the three blocks there and it will work. So wire that up to there. And there you have it. You should be done. Just check that it works. So you go through, let's go. And then you call the door to open. And then you walk back through. And then to reset it, you just hit the button. Oh no. Oh no. What's going on? That's on. Oh, I don't think the T flip flop's working again. Right, <laughs> well, the mistake that I said don't make, I have made, I've just realised. Oh, no, oh no, it was just me. Sorry. Uh, what was happening um, was I think I pressed the button too quickly or something. Let's test it again, see if it works. Should work anyway. Oh, I thought it was broken then. So, walk through. Oh, I know why. Oh, I was stood on the pressure plates. Yeah, make sure you w you're not stood on the pressure plates when you press the button. Otherwise, it will not work. As I just proved. As I've just proven. So, that, yeah, there you go, Fortune Gaming. Um, sorry for the long video. I tried to make it as short as I could. Um, yeah, you can extend this as much as you want. A few quick notes um, before I end the video. You don't actually need these on the last two blue blocks you don't actually need um, the repeater on the inside or outside depending on if it's an even or odd number of um, piston you know door things like however long the tunnel is um yeah you don't actually need them for it to work and um the other thing yeah make sure you do that like like i did otherwise it will not work 
And, um, yeah, oh, <laughs> game lag there. Yeah, you could have like never portal here, which I thought was quite a cool idea, or, you know, chess room, or whatever. It's just cool. Um, yeah, you can also, um, on the call button, you can actually toggle it on and off this button. So, if you want to toggle in on and off, then you can use this, but it, use the pressure plates, it looks a lot better. But we'll end the video here, um, because you get to see the full spiral effect closing here. It's pretty cool. So, um, thanks for watching, and yeah, please like, subscribe, and look out for the next video. Um, I hope this is what you meant for watching gaming. And uh, yeah, comment everyone else more ideas for watching gaming, two more, and I'll make them. So, here we go. Yeah. Bye!